welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at approximation and estimation and today's topic i'm going to look at a rounding off numbers to nearest unit a rounding off numbers to nearest units so before we start rounding off numbers to the nearest unit we're going to talk about the two golden rules we need to follow in rounding off numbers so the first rule is if the number to be removed is less than 5, you add 0 to the next remaining number. If the number is the number to be if the number to be removed is less than 5, you add 0 to the next remaining number. That is the first rule. The second rule is if the number to be removed is equal to or greater than 5, you add 1 to the next remaining number. Okay, so when it's less than 5, you add 0 to that number or you add nothing to that number, to the next remaining number. Then when it's 5, it's equal to 5. When it's 5 itself or any number that is greater than 5, you add 1 to that number. Okay, so let's see, round off now the numbers since we have written the golden rules. Then now let's round off these numbers to the nearest units. So, the instruction is round off to the nearest units. So, <clears throat> these are the numbers we are going to round off to the nearest unit. So, when we talk about rounding off number to the nearest unit, we need to, what we mean is we need to have, we need to write numbers as a whole number without decimal numbers, not as a fraction, as well as yeah, basically, we need just to write that number to as a whole number, the given number as a, a whole number. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go to uh, question one, which is 8.1. So to round off this number to the nearest unit, that means we're going to round off 8.1 to the whole number. Okay, so 8.1, we are going to remove one, then we are going to either change eight, or we are going to add either 1 to 8 or 0 to 8. So now, which rule are we going to use? Let's go back to the golden rules there, which we, we had, which I wrote on top there. The first one is, if the number to be removed is less than 5, you add 0 to the next remaining number. So here, this is the rule we are going to use here on number 1, because 1 is less than Five. One is the one number we're going to remove and it's less than five. That means we're going to use the first law, which is when the number to be removed is less than five. So since one is less than five, that means we're going to add zero to eight. So eight plus zero will give us eight. So now we have rounded off 8.1 to the nearest unit, which is eight. Okay, let's go to number two, which is 46.9. So we're going to remove the decimal, which is 9, the decimal number, which is 9. We're going to remove that decimal place, that decimal number 9. Then we're going to remain with this number, which is this side, 46. So I'm going to write, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to remove 9, then uh, I'm going to either add 0 to 6 or 1 to 6, depending on the rule we are going to use. Now, the first rule is if the number is less, if the first rule is if the number to be removed is less than 5, you add 0 to the next remaining number. Now, when we look at the number to be removed is 9, which is not less than 5, it's bigger than 5, it's greater than 5, then we are going to use the second rule, which is if the number to be removed is equal or greater than 5, you add 1 to the next remaining number. So since 9 is greater than 5, we're going to use the second rule where we're going to add 1 to 6. So now we have got 46. When we add 1 to 46, it will become 47. Now we have rounded 46.9 to the nearest unit, which is 47. Okay, let's go to number three. Number three, we have got 1,002.5 kg. 1,002.5 kg. So, we are going to remove five 
and then we are going to change to we're going the five we're going to remove will affect two okay so um, one and double zero are not going to be used so i'm going to write that one and that double zero okay now when we remove five what are we going to do to two okay let's go to the golden rules the first golden rule is if the number to be removed is less than five you add zero to the remaining to the next remaining number so the number is not less than five is in fact it's five it's equal to five now let's go to the second golden rule so the first golden rule won't work the first rule won't work because it's just just talking about number which are less than five now the second rule is saying if the number is if the number to be removed is equal to five or greater than five then we add one so five is equal to five so we are going to add one to two which will give us three so which will be uh, 1003 kg so which means rounding off 1002.5 kg to the nearest unit will give us 1003 kg or kgs okay now let's go to question four okay so question four we have got the 7.4 kilometers so we're going to round off this 37.4 to the nearest unit which is going to be we're going to remove four and then we are, the, when we remove four seven will get affected either by adding zero or adding one depending on the rule we are going to use so the first rule is saying if the number to be removed is less than five you add zero to the next remaining number so we are going to remove four so the, the, the first rule is saying if you remove the number to be removed is less than five, then you add zero to the remaining next number. So meaning, since we're going to remove four, which is less than five, we're going to add zero to seven. So I'm going to write three. Then when we remove four, we add zero to seven, it will give us seven. So seven plus zero will give us seven, which will remain 37. So it will be 37 kilometers so rounding off 37.4 kilometers will give us 34 will give us 37 kilometers okay rounding off 37.4 kilometers will give us 37 kilometers so basically this is how you round off numbers to the nearest unit so for you to successfully round off numbers to the nearest unit you need to master these two rules Whenever you are rounding off numbers, you need to master these two rules. Thank you so much for watching. It has been Easy Learning Z Mathematics. The future is bright. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. See you in the next video.